Today's hair tutorial is brought to you by Urban Hydration. It's their honey hairline and it is absolutely amazing. I started first with their honey health and repair repairing shampoo. And let me tell you, a little goes a long way. Five pumps and it suds up, but it doesn't suds like crazy. You know, some shampoos, it suds so much that you're like taking forever to rinse out. No, perfect amount of suds. Has a nice light scent, which is great because some things could be overpowering and it's very easy to wash out. And as you're rinsing your hair out, you're like detangling it and there's hardly any shedding. So fabulous product. And for their Honey Health and Repair Deep Conditioner, I did a pump for every single year that I have been on this earth. So 40 pumps. <laughs> I did 20 pumps first and I squished it into my hair. As my hair follicles are already open, I'm squishing that deep conditioner into my hair to really get all that nutrients, all the goodies into my hair. And then I got 20 more pumps, put it on the end, squish it, and then comb it through. It slip is amazing. My comb went right through. Put on a plastic cap. So after I rinsed out the deep conditioner, I applied my oil concoction. It is a mix of coconut oil, um, a little bit of castor oil, and some jojoba oil. I just shook it up and I applied it all over to my hair. So now I'm getting ready to see what does my hair look like. I know it's going to feel amazing because as I was rinsing out the deep conditioner, my hands were just gliding right through. So, wow. My hair never looks as good right out the towel. Look at this. Look at this. And it smells so good. All right, so what I'm gonna do next is take the leave-in conditioning detangling spray, but look, seriously, I don't need to do a whole lot of detangling because my hair, it, it feels amazing. <laughs> so I'm gonna apply the detangling spray all over, followed with their um, Honey Soft and Detangle and Style Daily Moisturizer. Because I like my hair to be moisturized, so I'm gonna apply that all over. And I'm gonna section my hair and use their blowout balm and grease my scalp, this stuff is amazing. It seals moisture, it's anti-dandruff, and it promotes fast hair growth. And that's what I need. I need to promote fast hair growth. So I'm apply that all over, and then I plan on doing finger coils today. So I'm going to section my hair, apply the style setting cream, and a little bit of the gel, finger coil it up, and I'll show you how it all turns out. detangling spray the daily moisturizer nice and light so refreshing love it And now it's time to actually do the finger coils. So I'll take the style setting cream and apply that to my hair. Next, I'll take some of the gel and also apply that to my hair. Comb that through with my wide tooth comb and look at that. I haven't really done anything and look at how great this product is. I already have some definition. I'm going to continue to brush the product through just to make sure all of my strands are fully saturated with the product. Now it's time to actually do the finger coils. So I had taken a small tooth comb to make sure my strands are nice and smooth. And as you can see, I'm not even parting the hair. I'm just grabbing sections and coiling it up. Um, all of our hairs are different, so all of our finger coils can be different as well. Now I'm about done with the back section, and take a look at that. Look at that definition. And as you saw earlier, I didn't do much. This is all the product right here. I did once or twice around my finger, and my hair just coiled up. So now let me get the rest of it done and I'm about done. So here is the back. I worked pretty quickly. This took about 45 minutes. The more you do it, the faster you get at it. And because I did small sections, they don't have to be perfect. My hair is low porosity, so when there's no product in it, it dries pretty quickly. So I'm just going to resaturate the front part of my hair. 
Just so you know, a little tip, your hair accepts product better when your hair is wet. Not dripping wet necessarily, but you know, a little moist, a little damp. So since I am near the front of the hair, by my part, I'm going to take a little bit of the edge control gel. Try to get my hair as smooth as I can. This will help ensure that as I coil up my hair around the part, that my part stays defined. So I'm going to be taking a little bit more care. I'll do smaller, tighter coils just to make sure I get all of my edges up into that finger coil. And if you can see, the coils are a little tighter. And that's just because I want my part to stay somewhat defined. So to help with my part staying defined, I got my little clamps. I'll keep these in until my hair is mostly dry. And if you notice there's this little white residue, nothing to worry about. This will dry clear, but to help with the process, I'm just gonna go ahead and take my towel and smush the product into my hair. And I think I'm just about done. <laughs> Look at that. The last step of this wash day is apply bare mousse to your hair. I like using mousse because it creates a firmer cast. I like having a cast on my wash and goes or my finger coils because it ensures that my hair dries the way that I want it to. <laughs> there we go, all done. And here is the final look. My hair is about 80% dry. Look at that definition. A little setting lotion, some gel, and mousse. This is Urban Hydration. Thanks. That's all I gotta say. Thanks. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Look at this movement. So it's all tightly coiled, but I still got lots of movement. I love it when I can feel my hair move. Even though I use gel and there's a cast, it's still movable. It's still touchable. It's the next day, my curls are fully dried. I have a nice crunch, which I love because this helps ensure that as my hair is drying, my hair will stay coiled up. So this is a great style for me to wear when the humidity is really high because I know that my coils will not like explode and go crazy. And plus, I'm a definition girl. I come to realize that I prefer definition over volume and that may change as my hair gets longer but I'm a definition girl. So, okay, this is day two. Let me refresh my edges with the amazingly awesome Pro Edge Control. Get a little bit here. And I noticed after my hair dried, I have a few pieces, like the hairs in the front, they, they don't wanna be great. So, you know what, I'm just gonna hide you. <laughs> So what I intend to do is I'll lay down the edges and take one of these little clampy thingies. And you know what, if you don't want to be out front and be great, that's okay because you don't have to. I will hide you. Okay, and since I have a little crunch, what, what first? Lots of great definition. A little bit of shrinkage, but that's okay. I love that I can just like move it around and it just goes back in place. I will take a little bit of oil, so whatever oil you have, and um, put it on my hands and just rub it through. This will kind of help break out that crunch that you had. So, and it gives a little shine and also maybe picks just a little bit at the roots or a little bit of volume. I don't want to go too crazy because this can last all week. This will last all week. Just got a little bit of extra volume and as the week goes on what I can do is take a little bit of oil and let me show you as 
the week goes on, I'll take a little bit of oil, apply it to a coil, and you see it already looks a little looser because I kind of scrunched out the crunch by applying the oil and rubbing it through. But then also I can separate that coil and now I have a little bit more volume because I separated that one coil. So as the week goes on, I'll go through and separate some of these coils to get more volume. And finger coils for me is a bonus because I get the definition that I like and by the end of the week, probably like day three, day four here, I get the volume that I want. But this is good for now and I am a flower girl. I love flowers. I can't tell you the name of any single flower, but I love flowers. So I'm going to add a little flower to the side. Maybe lower this a little bit for me. Go this way. I just love flowers. And my finished look. <laughs>